Hey, how's it going everyone? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Radio and Film Connection and welcome back to another Logic Pro X tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys two very cool tips to show you how to change the BPM to a song and also how to change the BPM of your project track uh, down to a decibel. Now this is gonna be very helpful if you're trying to remix a song or if you're trying to grab some samples. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. Now the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is select your track, go down to Audio Effects, down to your metering, your BPM counter, and then stereo. And this is what our BPM counter looks like. Now essentially what our BPM counter does is as the, tra uh, pardon me, as the playhead moves along in the track, it analyzes the transients in the track, so the largest waveforms, and it analyzes it and converts it into a BPM. And it does this down to the decibel, which could be very helpful, especially if you are uh, maybe trying to find the BPM to a live song. So maybe they're not using a click track and it doesn't go 120 BPM exactly. It's not robotic. It might go, uh, you know, 120 BPM point something. So this is going to be very helpful. Let's go ahead and hit play so that I can analyze this track. All right, cool. So uh, the BPM counter is giving us a very solid reading of 94.5, and I trust it. So let's go ahead and X out of this. And now let's go ahead and try to change our BPM. So I'm gonna lower this to 94.5. And as you can see, it goes from 94 to 95, 94, 95, and there's no real uh, decibel points, but I'm gonna help you uh, change that. All you need to do is click on this button right here and go down to custom. Now from here you can go ahead and change your track all the way down to the decibel, which is very helpful. Awesome. So now that we've done that, uh, we can go ahead and bring our loop a little smaller. And I know this song is actually in 5-4. Uh, it's a very unusual, uh, I guess, uh, time signature, uh, but Radiohead seems to do this a lot. So uh, let's go ahead and hit play and see if we created a perfect loop. Right, perfect so um, it was able to analyze it hundred percent correctly and we were able to uh, change the BPM uh, or the tempo exactly how we wanted it that corresponded to our BPM so again all you need to do is go down to your audio effects and then select your metering go down to BPM counter select stereo hit play let it analyze the transients then you can go over here to the very top uh, it'll more than likely be in this function uh, right here you'll go down to custom and then you can go ahead and change your tempo uh, down to the decibel right over here. So I hope the video was helpful. If it was helpful, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'm Eddie Martinez, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.